Hello everyone, welcome back on Cloud Savior. This is Rahul Mujahid, 16X Certified Microsoft Professional and Microsoft Certified Trainer as well. So in this video, we are going to discuss the curriculum of SZ500. So basically, SZ500 is completely based on Azure Security. As you can see, the name is Microsoft Azure Security Technologies. So if you want to become a security engineer, you have to pass out SZ500 examination. Before starting our video, make sure you click on the subscribe button and click on the bell icon as well. So whenever I upload any video, you will be the first one who will be notified for the same. Okay, so let's start it. okay so we have this curriculum that is provided by microsoft so let's discuss them one by one what kind of topics we have and of course just to pass out the certification on which topics you have to focus more okay okay so let me let me start with the first one that is uh this exam will be updated on september 29 2021 and i am recording this video on september 13 okay so basically after uh, we can say uh, 17 days this exam will be updated okay so what is the update we will discuss the uh, exact update in our next uh, video okay so what what has been updated what kind of services has been removed and uh, what are the new services that has been added in particular examination okay let me just continue with this particular video so we have, uh, as we always do, we will divide this uh, uh, particular uh, certification in some module. We have so module number one, that is the manage identity and access. Second module we have is implement platform protection. Third one we have is manage security operations. Fourth one we have is security, secure data and applications. So yep, we have four modules in this particular certification. Let me just cover them one by one. First of all, we have this manage identity and access so it will be covering around 30 to 35 percent of course that is the you know more weightage we have for this as the 500 examination so manage as your active directory identities configure security for service principle manage as your ad directory groups manage as your ad users manage administrative units configure password write back so basically if i talk about these module so you should know how as your active directory works you should focus on service principle how to create service principle how to assign the permission to this particular service principle for your application you should know how to manage your users and groups the same thing we have discussed in sg104 as well as 304 and sg303 as well you should know each and everything about as your active directory as you can see password write back administrative units configure authentication methods including password hash and pass through authentication pta auth and password less since it is a z500 so whatever you can complete or what whatever hands-on you can do in terms of as your active directory security right so you you should cover each and everything about as your active directory just focused on the security part okay basically uh we have transfer as your subscription between as your ad tenants if you have one subscription how you are going to transfer it between another tenant okay as we all know that uh, our our just sub, our subscription is bind to our tenant so if 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 i want to transfer my subscription to any another tenant so what will be the procedure you should know that configure secure access by using azure ad monitor privilege access for azure ad privilege identity management pim configure access reviews configure pim implement conditional access policy including mfa configure azure ad identity protection whatever security part you can accomplish you can do it and as your active directory and uh, yep as you can see that the uh, exact weightage is around 35 percent so take it like a as your active directory is the backbone for this particular examination if you want to pass out this as 500 then you should know what kind of operations and security you can implement in as your active directory since it is having 35 percent weightage okay 
now we have is manage application access now we're talking about application how you are going to uh, register your application right you should know each and everything as you can see create app registration configure app registration permission scopes manage app registration permission consent manage api access to azure subscription and resources so you should know how you can register your application in azure active directory manage access control configure a subscription and resource permission configure resource group permission configure custom rbac roles identify the appropriate role interpret permission the same task we have implemented in our az104 you must have remember rbac role based access control so you should know how you can perform rbac operations on resource group level on resource level or maybe on subscription level as well that is the very basics one right if you really need to focus on something that is something as your active directly right it is something pim so you should know each and everything about PIM, how you can create it, how you can configure it, and of course, how you can just bind your license with your PIM, okay? Of course, you should know, you know, the different types of uh, the exact offering from Microsoft, like uh, Azure AD Basics, P1 and P2 standard. So you should know the difference, right? And in which version you will get the PIM. Of course, you will not get the PIM in the basic version, or we can say free version. Okay, you have to go for the P1 or P2 just to get the PIM offerings. Okay, you should know these differences. Okay, that was our module number one. Now let's talk about module number two. That is our implement platform protection. Now we're talking about platform protection. Whatever platform you are building for your infrastructure, we are going to configure security on top of our platform. The weightage will be 15 to 20% implement advanced network security. First of all, we will, will be covering networking resources, secure the connectivity of virtual network, VPN authentication, express route and an encryption, configure network security group and application security group. You should know what is the exact difference in NSG and ASG. Okay. Create and configure as your firewall. What is the exact prerequisite before you go ahead and create as your firewall? What is the exact difference in as your firewall and NSG? You should know these things. Okay. And implement as your firewall manager, configure as your front door service as an application gateway. What is the exact difference in application gateway? And uh, what is the exact difference in these resources? Firewall, front door services as an application gateway. Okay, so you should know these differences. And the only way to find out is just to implement it on your Azure portal. Configure a web application firewall on Azure application gateway. Configure Azure version. Configure a firewall on a storage account. Azure SQL, Key Vault, or App Services. Implement service endpoints. Implement DDoS protection. So these kind of operations you should know before going for az 500 examination, right? Since we are providing, we are just config configuring the security on our platform on our infrastructure. So till now we have been discussing about network part now we will discuss about compute part configure advanced security for your compute your exact infrastructure okay configure endpoint protection configure and monitor system updates for virtual machines configure authentication for azure container registry configure security for different types of containers implement azure disk encryption what are the ways we have just to uh, uh, configure the encryption on our disk configure authentication and security for azure app services Okay, so whatever platform you are using, whether it is app services, virtual machine, aka service, service fabric, whatever you are using, you should know how you can configure the security for these infrastructure. Okay. Okay, so we have completed our module number two that is going to cover 50, 15 to 20 percent weightage from the complete examination. Now we have a third one that is our manage security operations. Now we are managing our security operation. It is going to cover around 25 to 30 percent again the second largest one okay monitor security by using azure monitor create and customize alert monitor security logs by using azure monitor configure diagnostic logging and log retention the exact thing what we have been discussing in our az104 303 and 304 right there, there, there is something very basics one you should know these things how you can just configure alerts and um, you know uh, retention periods and everything 
then we have monitor security by using azure security center that is something new okay since it is the azure 500 that is going to uh, focused on azure security so you should know each and everything about azure security center and azure sentinel as you can see we have sentinel as well let me discuss about azure security center so we have evaluate vulnerability scans from azure security center configure just in time vm access by using azure security center you have to configure uh, jit vm access okay so basically in jit vm uh, your port number uh, will be open for some particular time and of course for some particular ip address only right it's a kind of a conditional access that you will provide some condition that yes uh, on this particular time on this if if, if request is coming from this if this ip ranges then it should accept my request otherwise my virtual machine will deny the connection okay so this kind of configuration you can do by using just in time virtual machine access then we have configure centralized policy management by using azure security center configure compliance policies and evaluate for compliance by using azure security center you have to uh, create policies just to check out your compliance is your infrastructure is matching with your compliance or not okay so you can do you can do each and everything by using azure security center so again just to repeat myself you should know how to work in azure security center environment configure workflow automation by using azure security center so automation you will be doing by using azure sentinel okay so we'll be creating one uh, uh one integration between security center and azure sentinel so you should know how you can how you can configure system in between you know how uh, security center and azure sentinel okay how you can configure these two resources all together so that whatever work you are doing here it will be stored in azure sentinel workspaces okay so uh, if i talk about this point we have uh, create and customize alerts configure data sources to azure sentinel data source would be your azure security center okay so these kind of integration connectors you should use you should uh, configure these things on your portal before going for this examination evaluate result from azure sentinel configure a playbook playbook is like your automated action okay so you have to you have to just create some scenarios where you are going to integrate these two services or we can say two options all together that is one is azure security center second is azure sentinel okay Configure security policies. Configure security setting by using Azure policy. Configure security setting by using Azure blueprints. The same thing that we have been discussing in our previous examination. You should know how to use Azure blueprint and has how to configure Azure policy. Okay. So basically, if I talk about this model number third, so if you focus on Azure Security Center and Sentinel, that is more than enough. This is very basic one monitoring and uh, log analytics workspaces that is very basic one so of course um, if you if you have done az104 so you are pretty much aware about these concepts right where you have to focus is azure security center and azure sentinel because again we know what is azure blueprint and how azure policies work right if you have passed out az104 303 and 304 so you are pretty much aware, aware about these two technology that is our uh, policy and blueprints so yes you need to focus on azure security center and azure sentinel for this examination for this particular module and yes it is having the uh, second highest uh, weightage for this examination okay let's move on to the last one that is our secure data and application again it is having the same weightage not the same one it's basically we have 20 and 25 percent that is the third one third highest uh, weightage uh, for this examination so we have configure security for storage, configure access control for storage account, configure key management for storage account, configure Azure AD authentication for storage account, right? Configure Azure AD domain services authentication for Azure files, create and manage shared access signature, very basic one, configure storage service encryption, configure Azure Defender for storage. This is nothing. I mean, this is the very basics one you can do in a storage account. Just how to how to uh, enable your Azure AD authentication for your storage, right? How to configure key management for your storage account, right? Access control is very basic one again. So uh, just to repeat myself, if you have done AZ104, you should know 
how to work in this environment this is a very basic one for our storage account how to create sas token how to enable service endpoints how to enable as your defender for storage okay if you don't know make sure you go through these uh, uh pointers and yes just do some practical just do some hands on before going for this examination okay now let's focus on the databases enable database authentication enable database auditing configure as your defender for sql implement database encryption that is very basic one you just have to enable or disable these option that's it no complex configuration for these points okay then configure and manage key vault manage access to key vault manage permission to secret certification certificates and keys manage certificates manage secrets configure key rotation how to uh, configure rotation for your keys backup and restores of key vault items configure as your defender for key vault so key vault is something that yes when i just uh, completed my uh, the 500 examination so there was a lot of questions uh, that was uh, for key vault right as you can see we have 20 25 percent weightage for this module to take it like that you should focus on key vault more than as your storage account because there is something very basic one if there will if there will, there will be any question so you can easily answer that but yes there might be some tricky question on as your key vault because yes in my examination there was some question that was very hard to you know solve so you should know each and everything how to work in uh, how to work with as your key vault and what are the op operations you can perform in as your key vault in terms of security right so yep that was our module number fourth so we have covered this one this one this one and this one that is our 100 percent examination there are some changes as well but uh, not as much as we should discuss in this uh, video so i'll be creating one separate video for these changes whatever changes we have in se 500 okay and we will discuss the changes in our next video so yep that's it for now if you like the video make sure you click on the subscribe button and click on the bell icon as well whenever i upload any video you will be the first one who will notified for the same so thanks for watching see you in the next video